Can you build an AR-15 chambered in 300 black out in the middle of COVID? Yes, you can. Coming up. Oh. Welcome back. We've got coffee, guns, and the internet. And the internet is undefeated. So this is a PSA or Palmetto State Armory AR-15 build with Magpul furniture. And I stole some optics and stuff from my other gun, but we'll get right into it. I knew I wanted 300 blackout and I wanted to play with the AR-15 platform. Um, wasn't a good idea during COVID, but I said, screw it. I'm gonna try and do it anyway. What I ended up doing was buying a complete upper and a complete lower from Palmetto State Armory. So about $300 for this really nice lower complete on self. And what they came with was this gray Magpul furniture. Um, this is SBA3 brace. It's fantastic. Like I said, Magpul grip. It has this little hatch at the bottom you can take out and you could store whatever you want to in there, tampons, what have you. Yeah, I'm sticking with that. The lower is made out of 7075 T6 aluminum, and they say it's hard-coated and anodized. Like I said, mag, pull, grip, and a trigger guard there. And it came with a standard carbine buffer, and it also came with this advanced polished trigger group. And uh, that's just a mil-spec trigger. And the lower is actually labeled multi-caliber and about $450 for this complete upper that came with a Magpul flip-up sight. This is a 10.5 inch barrel with a pistol length gas system and the diameter at the gas block is 0.750 and that is running the subsonics and the supersonics both just fine. Ejection seems to be fine. The gun kicks a little bit more than the subs but super good. And the gas block type is low profile. The barrel finish is phosphate, nothing super fancy. And like I said, it is chambered in 300 blackout. It's got a 10.5 inch barrel, but it has a 12 inch handrail M lock. So um, how they get away with that is with this um, Palmetto State Armory fluted flash can and uh, and actually just takes all the gases and everything and just shoves it forward. Quick statement on this little flash can up front here. This device is not designed to reduce recoil, muzzle rise, or flash signature. This this device is designed to direct gases and noise forward away from the shooter and enhance the weapon's appearance. That's my favorite part. I like to enhance my weapon's appearance. I thought I was gonna say something funny right there, but I'm not really sure about that. I do like the, uh, the extra grip length or the extra rail length so I can really reach out there as far as I want and still have a 10.5 inch barrel. And the bolt carrier group is made out of 158 carpenter steel. <laughs> the first thing I did was get an M lock to a 45 Picatinny rail. I zip tied the pad right on top which is working out nicely and it's coming in at ambidextrous style so if you've been on the channel before you've seen the cz scorpion and i ran i was running this exact um, red dot on it with this 3x magnifier i'm not 100 percent sure or finally decided how i'm going to run the 300 blackout optics um, this is the cz scorpion that i stole those from they do swap over pretty quickly for 25 yards or less, I don't even have to re-zero the red dots, so that's working for me just fine. I haven't tried it out at longer ranges yet, but um, I'll need to make a decision. I'm gonna keep it the same or go to like a one to six or something like that. This is a UTG hand stop and that's M-Lock. Looks like it's made out of aluminum and that's kind of nice. I was thinking about not going with a hand stop, but um, I like to have that um, hand placement awareness so that whenever I want that flashlight, it'll have, um, have proper hand positioning. So I do have a confession to make. I'm very ashamed of this. It's a little embarrassing, but I went about a week before I put thread lock on all my M-lock screws. <gasps> the shame. It did not have an ambidextrous safety on it. Um, and I had put a lot of rounds through this CZ Scorpion and it does have an ambi safety. I could push down with a thumb or I can pull back with my trigger finger. And I was very much used to driving the weapon and then coming off. And I really liked that. I liked the way that felt. So that, that was something I added to it right away. It wasn't a big deal, but it's important to me. So, and that's the whole idea behind building your own firearm. And so I did that and it feels so fantastic, really fast and easy. 
and the only color I could get it in was red. I would have preferred to keep it sort of black because I'm not really into blinging out my gun with colors. Uh, black and gray is fine. But now that I see it, it's kind of a dark red. And I kind of like it really easy to see at a glance what condition that safety is on. So that's kind of nice. And if anybody else shoots the gun, they should be able to find the safety pretty easy. Coming around to the other side, I picked up a $20 strap off of Amazon because of all the fancy ones were just not available at the time of ordering it. Anyway, I've got my sling over here on this side. The um, QD mount is M-Lock. The actual rail came with QD uh, holes in it, but the QD won't slide in there deep enough because it hits the barrel and the flash can up on the front. So these QD mounts on this handrail are worthless. So it's kind of ridiculous, but whatever. It is what it is, right? And moving to the back here, I've got my daughter's hair tie, and then I've run this sling up with a band on it so I could run the firearm before I used the sling, and then you could pull it off and run it that way. Pull this out, charge the weapon, I'll save. Hit, good, deploy the strap. Now it does have a QD mount here in the rear, and I don't really like running it that far back. Right now I temporarily have it just tied around the back buffer, and it gives me that two point sling that I enjoy. Now this uh, strap does come with that QD bracket that you can connect it and make it a single point. So, and I do like that to go dual point and single point. So what I did was I ordered a, a device that will mount on the back of this buffer spring that has three QD mounts on it. So when that comes in, I'll put that on there. This back piece right here will have a QD mount and I'll, I'll run two point most of the time. And if I ever want to run single point, that'll be an option as well. So that's in process. I picked up three mags at like $12 a piece at the same order, so that was nice. That is the 300 Blackout build. Uh, my only uh, little gripes about it is it has a heavy barrel on it, so it's a little heavy on the front end. And these QD mounts, like I said, um, these whole slots in the rail don't actually work. So in short, can you buy a 300 Blackout AR-15 build in the middle of COVID? Yes, but you're not gonna be able to find any ammo. So about $300 for this really nice lower with this SBA-3 um, brace that came with it. The, the lower was complete. And about $450 for this complete upper that came with uh, Magpul flip-up sights. So I was able to just hook this thing up and start running it right away. Actual useful weapon delivered during COVID. And these other parts and pieces I swapped over. And these parts, and this flashlight and these optics are available to purchase online right now. So that's not a problem. So yes, you can build it. You're not gonna get it for $10, but you, but you can get it for a reasonable price, especially during COVID, and still go out there and shoot and have some fun if you're creative. Right now on the gun channel, there's also a video of this, how to buy a gun online. And it takes you through the whole process that I went through to order this off the internet and have it shipped to me going through my local gun store. So check that out. Also, there are quite a few CZ Scorpion videos up on the channel. I've got a couple of reviews on the P365XL, a review that just hit on this Holosun 407K. Check that out on the channel if that is something you're interested in as well. This EDC backpack from EliteSurvival.com. Definitely check that out. My name is Mike, you're at the gun channel. Thanks for sticking around to the end and I'll, I'll see you next time. 300 blackout versus an Apple Watch. Yeah, I think that got it done.